Gene Richards is suing the city of Burlington in an attempt to get his old job back as the airport's aviation director. Richards was fired last month after a hearing with the Burlington City Council. Local 22's Devin Bates joins us in the newsroom tonight with the documents. Devin. That's right, Lauren. Richards wants access to the full and complete documents related to the investigation into his workplace conduct. Now, in the lawsuit, his attorney argues that because Richards was never given the full picture, he wasn't able to defend himself properly in that hearing. One week before former aviation director Gene Richards was fired in a 10 to 2 vote by the Burlington City Council, his attorney, Rich Cassidy, claims he submitted a public records request for the full and unredacted confidential investigation memo. He says he never got access to those documents, so when he was asked to respond to the allegations at that hearing, Cassidy argues, quote, Richards did so to the best of his ability, but lacking knowledge of the specific allegations, could only assert that he was sorry if his conduct had been offensive to some employees. According to Cassidy, that termination hearing was announced immediately after a tense meeting in Mayor Weinberger's backyard in which he told Richards he was hurting, quote, the party and the administration, claiming Weinberger promised to embarrass and ruin him if he didn't resign. The lawsuit argues there was a lack of due process in Richards' termination, and as such, he should get his old job back or get a proper post-termination due process hearing, damages for his lost income, and attorney's fees. In a statement, Mayor Weinberger's communications coordinator, Samantha Sheehan, said the city disputes the substance and supporting statements of the suit, adding in part, quote, the mayor stands by his decision to seek termination, which was considered and delivered by the city council. This most recent action by Mr. Richards further confirms that he believes himself to be above accountability and immune to the consequences of his behavior. It marks his apology to the public as hollow. Now, I reached out to Gene Richards and his attorney, Rich Cassidy, for comment on this lawsuit today, but neither were available. Live in the newsroom, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.